What up, fam? Mr. Country CEO back in the house again. Man, look, Mo Game. Mo Game <laughs> and Mo Game. That's right. Welcome back to the channel, subscribers, family, and friends. Look, I want to talk about today enduring lean times. Enduring lean times. What do I mean? I simply want, I didn't say tough times, but lean times. And what I call lean times is when you have a few days of slowness or a few weeks of slowness, that is not a time to panic, throw up your hands in the air or anything of that nature. I've been there and done that. So I can tell you, there's no reason to do that, right? Because we know that this thing is going to do what it do when it's time to do what it do. All right, so I'm going through some uh, lean time. What I call lean time was really just a, a couple of days of slow and all that. I mentioned on the live Saturday gone uh, that uh, for the month of June, I probably had six lost days. Well, I say, shouldn't say lost days, but days we didn't work. Uh, I had about another five or six days where I didn't get all nine trucks out. But you got to endure lean times. How do you endure lean times is the question. All right, well, you endure lean times by taking advantage of the opportunities that are there. One of the things that used to always bother me if I didn't max out or take advantage of all that was offered and available, right? And so um, I endured tough times and, or should I say, lean times. Wasn't using that word, lean times, by making sure I maximize whatever's there, right? And here's what I mean by that. Sometimes it's not the best rate that, that's available. Sometimes it's jobs that you really don't want to do. I've had to, to face that in the last two weeks. It was jobs I really didn't want to do. It was jobs where the rate ain't really what it wants to do. But as an owner, you realize you got to give the guys and the girls something to do, right? So you might take something that you got to make a whole lot of profit out of, but you ain't going in a hole. So you go ahead and do it for the sake of your people. But that's just a good practice, even if it was just you driving one truck. You know, sometimes you got to do some stuff that you really don't want to do. The rate of wasn't all that great. It's almost as if the jokers, the contractors, the jokers know Ain't much going on, so they throw this little cheat rate out here. You know, it's almost like they know that, and they know people, you know, more likely would jump on it because ain't much going on. All right, and so that's how I endure lean times. I'll take stuff that um, might not necessarily be much profit in it, but I'll do it for my guys. Uh, there's stuff um, that, 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 uh, that, 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 there's things like that to happen, right? Also, there's, there's going to be weekend work that I'm going to jump on that I might have passed on. Uh, for other various reasons, I'll kind of push the guys. Hey, man, we need to get that. Let me give a perfect example of that. As this video is on this Tuesday, the 4th of July is that Thursday. So guess what I told the guys? I said, hey, look, you know, you might want to jump on what's ever available starting back Sunday night because probably Wednesday, if, if, if it's a full day Wednesday, that's, this is going to be a short week because I know holiday, nobody's coming back to work on that Friday. That's a wrap to Monday. All right, so you endure tough times by what? Here's another nugget, thinking ahead. Taking stuff that you might not necessarily want to take, that's, a, that's one. Number two, thinking ahead, right? Thinking ahead, that's how you endure lean times. All right, and so a third one would be is is looking in nooks and crannies that you otherwise had won't look, wouldn't look in or you hadn't looked in in a while. What do I mean? There are certain contractors that I worked for years ago that I hadn't worked for in years. Boom! I stroll back in my phone and I'll toot, 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 hit a few texts up. I've gotten fortunate like that and got a day or two out of that. Uh, uh, there's people that I swore I probably would never work for for various reasons. But if they're going to pay right and I'm going to get my money, I might overlook that, my my pride, you know, and, and say, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and make this day or two. So don't ever say what you won't do. All right, because you might have to eat those words, right? But this is how you endure lean times. So I hope this is helping some of you uh, 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 in order to be to endure, right? And obviously, the obvious things, you got to take care of your money. You got to budget correctly. Uh, uh, when it's lean times, certain things that can wait, uh, they got to wait. You know, big purchases personally, but also purchases business-wise. You start to kind of look at, okay, what could be, what needs to be done right now? I thank God all of my oil changes just got done. So I got that behind me. So I ain't worried about nothing. I got my truck serviced up and ready to go. We're all in good shape. Got a few more tires I need to buy. But other than that, that's how you endure lean times. Sit down, strategize, make it make sense. I hope this video has been helpful. Hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. Tell me what y'all think. How y'all endure lean times, right? And watch this. Let me say this unequivocally. I ain't worried about a thing. Because I know the, I know it's going to uh, break here very shortly. So the idea is it's just to hold what you got, tread along, take what's there until the breakthrough comes. And it's coming. That's all, y'all. I'm gone.